Babe, wake up. It's time for your daily dose of a cane run. Hell yeah, we're gonna have another one of these. I just love this little fella. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is why I love this little fella. You walk into rooms and you get good items, even more so than Tainted Isaac. You just walk into a room and for some unbeknownst reason, there's like a hidden stat that makes it so Kane is more likely to not just find items randomly, but they are good. Uh, I'm telling you, they messed something up in the code. They gave the code that like gives Tainted Loss better items, uh, and like they, they took that and gave it to Kane accidentally or something. I don't know. Some, something ain't right. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not complaining because it means Kane is even more fun to play than he is normally already. I am happy about that. Happy, 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 fun, fun, fun. And all that. God, I would love a bomb to blow up this uh, Tinted Rock with, by the way. But I suppose it's not meant to be right now. I wouldn't mind one, to be fair. At this rate, I might just uh, never get one, which uh, sucks. But what can you do? Just more keys. The one thing I really don't need. Is that a wild card in your pants or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> Too bad I can't fucking buy it. At this rate, there's only two ways for this to go. Either I get a matchbook from the boss, which gives me the bombs, which allows me to do anything I want, aka blow up the Tinder Rock, blow up my donor machine, buy that wild card, uh, potentially also the other stuff in the shop because there's a lot of good stuff. Or I get Pageant Boy, which allows me to buy stuff. Oh my god, I can't believe I actually got matchbook. Holy crap. <laughs> Ain't no way, bro. That's incredible. Okay. Well, we're definitely gonna blow up this Tinder Rock, and we're gonna blow up the donation machine so I can buy stuff. That wild card is mighty enticing. If I could get myself a Diplopia to go alongside it, oh boy, we're gonna be looking at an incredible run. If I buy it, I won't be able to buy Steam Sale. I... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. A little bit more money? Uh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Because the only way I can get both Steam Sale... I, I mean, I would love Deep Pocket too, don't get me wrong. But the only way I can get both Steam Sale and that wild card is if I get two more cents. So wild card's gonna go on sale, it's gonna be three cents after I buy Steam Sale. And I don't think I'm getting two more cents. Oh well. I guess we're getting the wild card and Deep Pockets instead then. Unfortunate. Yeah, well, this is gonna have to make do. This is, this is all we can do. This is as good as it gets. Oh my fucking god, I am... Are you kidding me? Why do I always forget to check this room? before I make any sort of decisions about consumables. This happens to me so fucking much on the first floor, man. Whatever, man. I don't need Steam Sale anyway. Deep Pockets is gonna give me so much money that it won't matter. I'll gladly take the mystery item here. Ah, shit, it's guillotined. Okay, well, good thing I got all that HP because I am not going to be having a great time on this run when it comes to avoiding taking damage, unfortunately. The only thing I really need now Beyond finding a Diplopia, obviously, for this wild card, is if I could get a starter deck as well, that would go huge, because that way I can carry the wild card forward into future floors and stuff. Keep duping it. That would be that would be pretty neat. Okay, it's not meant to be just yet, but I will spend my money on a treasure map, because having mapping is nice. Secret room. Probably like right here. This just seems correct. It it just every everything Whoa! Okay, never mind. I was like Oh, cool, one up, and then it turned into a glitched item. May affect damage familiars. Uh, sure, I'll take it. That's a cool ass sound. Okay, it gave me little Chad. It gave me some damage. It wasn't lying. It gave me some damage and little Chad. Cool, I guess. And it healed two hearts. I have no idea how external item descriptions figures out what the hell glitched items are gonna do, because it somehow can. Oh, cool. And of course, because it's a glitched item, I now fart every time I take damage. But little chat is actually kind of useful here, considering I just, like, burnt away all my all my HP like that. If I can work around having guillotine here, like, or much rather, if there's a run where I can work around having guillotine, it's this one, where at least my damage is, like, absurdly good, and I don't have to worry too much about playing a character, where I will die very quickly if I happen to get hit. A range up is actually good here. Ah, uh, do I want to peep this devil deal? Nah, I'm gonna go angels. I'm gonna go angels. I've been doing a lot of devil deal shenanigans lately. By the way, look at the reflection of my body. Uh, or of my head. Why is the- why is the... Ceremonial robes hood transparent? That's kind of creepy. What the hell, man? It's like the face is peeking through. That's- that's weird, man. I, get me out of here, I'm leaving. Oh, Curse of the Blind. Lovely. Great news. Ah, uh, yes, I don't know what these are. Let's take the left item. Okay, I think that was the right choice. I think that was the correct choice. I shouldn't have probably used it yet. Basically, what I'm hoping for is that I get the angel deal this floor anyway. And then I can get my angel deal. 
at least one before I start taking Devil Deal items out of Satanic Bible. I was like, yeah, well, uh, can you imagine? Like, just mere minutes ago, not even a minute ago, probably, I was like, oh man, I should really go for Angel Deals today. I'd, I've been taking so many Devil Deals lately. And then I pick up Satanic Bible and I'm like, well, I guess that's what I'm rolling for the foreseeable future. That's just how it's gonna be. Oh, uh, I gotta buy both of these? Okay, Mom's Coin Purse, cool. And Broken Watch. Okay, I mean, at least they're both decent. I don't think I've ever had a bad Kane run. So I'm saying, I don't think I've ever had a bad run as Kane. This guy is immune to having bad runs. He can only have powerful and good runs. Well, I don't know what this is, but I'll get it. I Fuck the angel deals. A fame is great! Thank you, okay. And guess what? I get to grab the one on the mirror side for free. Because I'm gonna be the last. I really hope. Man, I really hope that this... A uh, free devil item I'm going to get is actually going to be good. I mean, I doubt it will be detrimental, but you know. Oh, yeah, ghost baby's fine. Gave me this mystery item. Okay, that's a that's a tear cap breaking item. I'm gonna have a ton of money for this. And unfortunately, once more, it is not what I hoped for. <laughs> Alright, fine. Let's play this sack room a little bit. There's some HP lying around. I can get some from the shop as well. I would love to get the key pieces out of this. Increased angel chances. That is great. <laughs> That is actually just wonderful. The gas removes all curses. I mean, that's cool. I can only really use that here. To believe that I was worried about the, being able to play the sack room for even just a minute. Oh, all right. Uh, do I want it over Satanic Bible? Maybe I do. I'm I'm considering it. I think Eden's soul has incredible potential, so I'll rock it. Why not? Love the statue with the one bomb I have, thank god. Thank god I had one of those. Now it would actually be ideal if the angel room didn't spawn after I defeat the boss. That way my next floor has a guaranteed devil deal 100%, which would be very lovely. Let's go, dude! Okay, might as well get some charges out of this now for Eden's soul. I don't have bombs, never mind. <laughs> Right? There was like that one problem where I don't have bombs. That's, uh, that's a darn shame. I can play the living hell out of this though. Oh, another blood bag. Okay, fair enough. God, if only it wasn't for guillotine, this run would be so much easier to aim with. I'm having like severe trouble hitting this guy. Oh, cool. He got blown up by his own barrel or something. He escaped. He escaped. Well, at least I got a damage up. That's nice. Okay. Didn't get the deal, by the way. That was crucial. For once, I'm actually happy that I got the low roll on the deal spawning. Let's go. Next floor. Oh, Dark Prince's crown. Well... I'll never make that work ever. Never say never, I suppose, but it's unlikely that I'll ever make it work in a meaningful way. For now, I would love to see my shop. I would love to see if I can get the cool Diplopia play working that I've been trying to go for. I've never managed to make that combo work, but I would love to make it work one day. Today is the day. I've been giving one of the three pieces of the puzzle. And it's by far the rarest one, mind you. The, the wild card is extraordinarily rare. You don't get this card nearly as often as you manage to find a Diplopia or a starter deck. Items are easier to fish for than consumables, so I'll gladly do that. Uh, give me this. Even though GB bug is okay, and turns out I should have taken it. I really need to stop taking so much damage. <laughs> I... It's... I'm blaming guillotine, okay? I'm blaming guillotine for that one. I thought the fire was gonna be sh extinguished by the time I walked over there, but because of guillotine, like, one of my tears probably missed or something, and it just was all out of whack. Please die, thank you. Okay, I got- OH MY GOD! No way, okay. Perfect time for Eden's soul to be charged too. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're- We're gonna use Eden's soul in the secret room, and we're gonna have some good times here. Boom. Not exactly what I was looking for, mind you, but what can you do? The problem now is, unless I find a starter deck, I will not be able to do the Diplopia play just yet, but I will buy Diplopia. Uh, world card just means a crawl space. That's that's fine. Oh, black market. This could actually be the answer to my problems. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, calm down. Grab yourself a restock as well while you're down here. And you know what? I'll go for broke. I'll grab the school bag too. Okay. Give me... Uh, drop everything for now. I just need to like... Give me this. Give me this. And... Well... I just gotta remember, I can never, I need to put this in my brain right now. Once I have done this, I can never use another spacebar item or consumable card ever for the rest of the run. Otherwise it breaks. That's very important. Very, very important. Let's blow up this guy as well. Maybe I can get money out of him. Huge. <laughs> okay, so we duplicate. And... Oh my god. Oh my god. This is very funny. 
The problem is I don't need all these booster packs, like, at all. So I just did this as a proof of concept. I'm not actually gonna really want to grab any of these booster packs. Uh, and the temperance cards are kind of in the way. Okay, get me out of there. <laughs> I don't want to- I don't want to have anything to do with this room, man. That room is- that room scares me, okay? But... <laughs> As long as I just remember to drop my wild cards and use them. Oh my god, we're gonna be looking pretty. I can't believe I got this combo. Oh my god, it's... I've never had this privilege before. I can't use any of these! I don't care how good they are, I can't use them. I good thing they're not that exciting anyway, but still, I can't use them. I gotta... I, I, can't, I can't afford to. I gotta, I gotta keep the wild card combo alive. This devil deal is about to pog off like crazy. I mean, it depends on what's in there, obviously, but still, it's gonna go crazy, man. You know it's gonna go absolutely nuts. What do we got in here? Oh my god! Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get a trillion succubi. It's gonna be crazy. Okay, well, wild card me, wild card me. <laughs> oh boy! Let's do one more, and then I'm probably good for now. Should have probably made it so that I don't get a billion uh, guppies heads as well, but what can you do, right? Does grabbing separate guppies heads count towards... It does count towards guppy, that's nice. Gotta make sure I don't accidentally grab the um, paid items. You can't overdo it with these dupes, you gotta be careful. Otherwise, uh, the room becomes untraversable very quickly, and you're gonna be having some trouble. I need to just leave this room, I don't care about the other black powders. Look at that! <laughs> Whenever I walk into a room, oh my goodness. I'm just gonna take this, honestly. Oh my god, wait a minute. I can't go all puff, but like, look when I walk into where I get 4,000 damage. <laughs> oh my god, bro. What the fuck? But I suppose we're done here. It's not like I can go all puff. I will literally die. So down we go. What a, what a, what a, what a combo. I can't believe it actually happened. Oh my god, my tears are so large. When I, when I'm like, Covered by all the succubus auras, my tears are like super large. What the hell, man? They cover the entire damn room. They cover the whole damn room. They'll just kill anything in their path. It's actually... First of all, uh, you know, if you're photosensitive, fair warning, I suppose. But also, it's actually like kind of bad because it makes a lot of uh, things not visible to me. It covers the entire room and I can't see anything. So I need to be careful that I don't end up getting hit because of it. Okay. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh boy, this room is gonna ruin my damn life. Never mind. I'm just, I'm just him. I'm goaded. It's all good. Do I want any of these items? Not really. I don't really care for them. So I'm not even gonna bother di like diplo duping that. It don't matter to me. If you can get infinite of any item, even even if you can't have infinite of any item, you need to be a little bit picky with what you grab sometimes, you know? You gotta choose. You gotta make your choices. This item room has potential for greatness, or it has potential for giving me a ton of Gemini, which, frankly, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care for. <laughs> the great thing about my tier hitboxes being so unbelievably massive is that I don't have to ever aim for enemies. Uh, I just shoot and things will die. <laughs> Like, the hitbox is large enough, it covers the entire damn room. No enemy can oppose me. It simply isn't possible. Jesus Christ, dude. Let's just kill the boss real quick. It's mom, right? Forgot about that part, but I've been everywhere I wanted to go, so it don't matter. Let's go up today, and uh, I could have infinite megas, which is hilarious because I couldn't use them. <laughs> so, uh, don't care, basically. Don't care. We're going down. I will never go tired of, like, starting a room and having four and a half thousand damage for like a second. It's only for a second, but that second is long enough to kill everything in my way, which is hilarious. Plus the succubi, you know, they still do damage by themselves as well in their aura. So they'll just hit enemies as they fly across the room and just sweep up everything. Anyway, here's like a like a fun story. I'm sure most people can like kind of share their experiences or like have similar experiences with this. I decided out of out of the sheer craving of hunger or whatever, uh, I couldn't make a sandwich last night when I wanted to make one because, well, didn't have any bread ready. I had to take some out the freezer. So I decided, hey, you know what? I remember my dad bought like a can of Pringles a while ago and I, like this was months ago, mind you. And I was like, hey, I don't, I don't want to eat that. I don't even want to see it because I know for a fact that if a bag or a can of chips enters my vicinity, that shit will be sucked empty like a vacuum cleaner went through it. There will not be a single crumb left within 24 to 48 hours. It will, it will be completely empty. It'll be like a fresh can that they use on the conveyor belt in the factory. I, it will literally have every last droplet of nutrients sucked out of it, however nutritious. 
the chips are, let's be honest, they aren't. Basically, what I'm trying to say is if any sort of, you know, salty snack type of deal enters my vicinity, that shit is not safe. It is empty immediately. Uh, so yeah, I, I got a can of Pringles and now it's it's already like half empty and I'm kind of feeling a little bit guilty about it. But I guess I hadn't had any chips in a while. So I was like, you know what? Let's indulge myself a little bit. Let's be a bit unhealthy for once. Let's just see where it goes. Can I have infinite styes? Does sty even stack? You know what? Let's give it a try. See what happens. I feel like it probably does nothing. Wild card indeed. Okay, I think this is enough styes. <laughs> I think this is enough of them. Basically what I'm saying is if you ever invite me to a party and there's any sort of salty snacks, be it chips, be it pretzels, pretzel sticks... Uh, you know, crackers or whatever, like any anything of that sort. Uh, I'm. It's not safe for me. I will probably eat more of that and like make myself like fill myself up on that uh, instead of filling myself up on whatever meal you've provided. It does feel like these are stacking in some ways. I don't know. I guess I'll never really notice because uh, it only applies to one eye, and also it doesn't really matter because I one shot literally every enemy anyway as soon as I enter a room. So yeah, this was just for the sake of it looking funny on the right side of the screen that I have like 32 styes now, which is which is pretty funny. You know, I could probably get some HP out of this guy. Might not be a bad idea. Perfect, actually. This is exactly what I wanted. The fact that this works, the fact that this synergy exists is so funny to me. It's so fucking funny to me, dude. And you know they left this in on purpose. They were like, you know what? If people go this far to break the damn game, let them. Let, let them do it. Let them, let them do it. Okay, well, there you go. We got HP. Problem solved. Look at how large these tiers are, man. Incredibly large tiers rapidly approaching your location. You better be ready for them, enemies. And you better fucking open up or I'm gonna flip my lid! Open up! Okay, there you go. What is weird to me is like, you know, like how even though I'm so unbelievably like salty snack pilled, how I am the complete opposite when it comes to sweets. I was never much of a sweets kid, even as a, like, as a kid I would like, I wouldn't really enjoy chocolate that much. I'm still not a huge fan of chocolate or sweets in general. Like, you know, if I'm having, if I'm eating something somewhere and they offer me dessert and it's like a slice of cake, I'm like, I'll eat it. But to be honest, I can do completely fine without the cake. I don't, I don't eat like sweets, right? I'm not a sweets person at all. And it is like, it's funky to me to think about Like I guess in some ways, you know, maybe there is just like two types of people. Like some people are sweets pilled for snacks and some people are more salty slash savory snack pilled or whatever. I am definitely firmly in this, in the salty camp. I, I love me salty snacks. But if you, if you put like a, a pack of gums or like a, like a bar of chocolate on the table, I'm probably not touching that shit. They're, they're, I remember vividly, and my mom would always say this as well, if she got me like a little like Easter bunny or like a chocolate Santa or whatever, you know, whenever those seasons were around. I don't even remember which one, so I took the po Polaroid, right? I think so. I can't check the item list. It's not like... I. It's not like there's much over there. <laughs> like, I, whenever she got me, like, an, like, a chocolate Easter bunny or something like, like that, that shit would, like, not... I would not eat that. That shit would still be there by Christmas. And then she'd get me a Christmas, like, a Santa, chocolate Santa, and then that one would be there until Easter. Like, it would just swap around. It would just swap out the, the Easter bunny with the, the chocolate Santa and vice versa. I just, like, wasn't much of a chocolate eater at all. I don't know, I just don't like the way it, like, sticks to your teeth and shit. Not, not that huge of a fan of it. I mean, yeah, okay, so, like, some chips and, like, dust and shit like also stick to your teeth but like in a different way you know it, 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 it's it's like less annoying i suppose god i really hope that i find some banger items on the chest to really make use of this duping with like this run is utterly broken but it's not like broken in a in a way that is like fun you know it's just like oh yeah i walk into a room and whatever is in the room dies instantly because my tear is literally so large it covers the entire room <laughs> and I do so much damage that nothing can oppose me. You can't tell from the item list, that's for sure. Honestly, I was gonna say, if this is a D1 room, I might just re-roll. Because I have like a, tr a gazillion items. <laughs> so it would be kind of funny to see what they can turn into. I would still think I would keep the wild card synergy anyway, so it wouldn't even matter. I guess I would lose starter deck. I guess that would suck. Now I think about it, so... Now I think about it even longer. Maybe I'm glad that there wasn't a re-roll in there, because I would have probably lost the most important part of it, which is the... Uh, starter deck, which allows me to carry the two wild cards in the first place. But I guess again, once I get to the next floor, it won't matter at all. I one shot Isaac, no, uh, no questions asked, no surprise there. Honestly, now on this floor, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter if I lose starter deck or anything like that. I'm gonna dupe these chests a bit, just a bit though. I don't want to go too crazy with it. Let's do one more. There you go. And then I'm gonna maybe dupe some of the items that I get out of it. Like, if, if I don't care about duping them, I should just grab them right away. I'm glad I kept the paperclip, by the way. Because otherwise this would have been, uh, annoying. What is that? 
Okay, well, these are all pretty bad. Infestation 2, I'm pretty sure, does nothing when you dupe it. <laughs> Lots of familiars, huh? Don't really need the stats out of Halo times a trillion. That, that's not gonna do much for me. Hot bombs is whatever. I hate that there's actives here. The actives are what scares me, really. Piercing stacking does nothing for me, but it's good to have one of them. Really, nothing... No, no bangers so far? No bangers so far, huh? Nothing that's like a banger item to dupe. I do not want shard of glass. Should open some more chests here. I should keep one. Oh, there's a D4 again. They're really trying to tempt me, aren't they? I'll just open all of these. I, I can dupe another chest that I get on this floor. That onion is just more piercing that I already have, but sure. Yeah, none of these would be crazy if I just had a ton of them, so I don't care. Let's leave. I have piercing now, which is cool. I don't know why that guy died. Like, he was across the room, but okay. Things are just kind of dying when I walk into rooms now. I'm not even really shooting. I should actually, like, let's not shoot. Let's see what happens. Yeah, they just died instantly. I don't know what happened. I don't really know why they died. What did they die to? <laughs> oh, well. Oh, I didn't mean to grab that. No, guillotine. I mean, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's... Let's dupe this chest a bit. See if I can get myself some cool items, perhaps. That probably belongs to the team. There we go. There we go. That's something worth duping. I mean, I don't even know if duping Tech X actually does anything. Just having Tech X a trillion times sounds very funny. Okay. Compound fracture. Okay. Play-Doh cookie is dope. Uh, a D6. Okay. <laughs> All right, I guess. Too bad it's not going to matter. Let's not go too crazy with this, but I do want a few Tech Xs. Let's get let's go with eight tech X's and see what stacking them does, you know? If anything. I think it just makes you fire extra rings? Would be my guess. It totally does make you fire extra rings, okay. Might as well grab a D6 and then try to get these wild cards and head out of here. Uh well Curse Eye doesn't really bother me. Again, I don't even really get to shoot. It doesn't even matter, because enemies just die instantaneously the second I walk into the room. And I have no idea why. Like I don't know. I don't know. I actually don't know what could be causing it. Inexplicable to me. Oh my god. <laughs> What the fuck, man? Dude, Mega Satan will actually die in one hit. It's crazy. I'm doing 5,000 damage when I walk into a room. Like, and enemies just die. I'm not even doing anything. I don't know if they just die at my sheer overwhelming presence being way too much for them to handle. Uh, one thing I know for sure is that they are dying. Oh shit, Envy survived. Well, part of him anyway. Too bad. It doesn't matter. Might as well fight Blue Baby real quick. He'll die instantaneously and there's just a flashing orange whatever on my screen. Distinctive lack of items on this floor so far. I mean, I only have one luck. I kind of blew my load a little bit too early and now, uh, you know, I can't really do much else, but it doesn't really matter. I walk into rooms and everything dies anyway. So like, why care? Literally nothing can oppose me. Literally nobody has a chance against me, dude. It's so Jover if you're my enemy here. The problem now becomes is like, I can't really get any more dupings in. I mean, I could just re-roll a bunch, right? I could, like, just use a d6 and re-roll the shit out of this fucking room. And you know what? Sure. This is probably more fun than going for more dupes. Let's do this room first, because I got so many d6s, so I got so many charges, right? Any any exciting items in here? Might as well grab purity. Might give me the damage aura. I think it did, actually. That's crazy. What's my damage now when I enter a room? Ah, oh, just 7.1k. Okay. Casual. Let's re-roll you a little bit more. Oh, cool. Hemolacria. Oh, cool. Pyrocytoid. Uh... <laughs> Let's grab a new set of D6s that have charges in them. Let's re-roll in here. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Honestly, roll me again. Nothing terribly exciting. Actually, wait, there's Lacry. The game wasn't already broken. Lacry is definitely going to break it. Uh, and then we just wildcard to re-roll again. And, uh, well, you know, again, nothing, uh, none of these are, like, terribly exciting. So let's go again. Honestly, I don't want, I don't want the rest of this. I don't care. I don't care. Let's just leave. <laughs> Let's just ice Mega Satan. It's a sped up fight too, which is hilarious. However, he's going to die in one shot, so it doesn't matter to me. But I got C-section. I gotta like hold down the fire button now. It's funny because like my succubi didn't oh, didn't like stack up much, so like it's not like I'm gonna get the full damage bonus. But do you see Mega Satan right now? I don't. Oh, there he is. Hello. I was wondering like why do my C-section uh, fetus is like burst instantly, and I realized oh, it's because I have Lacry. Also, he's dead. <clears throat> wow. What a run, dude. I cannot believe I got the Diplo combo. That is insane. That is insane, dude. That was one of the Isaac runs of all time.